決勝進出に向けては勝利が絶対条件の今日の戦いですけれども第一戦からどのあたりを修正してきたんでしょうか。First of all, correction about the first first eleven because especially of this red card of of Hiroki Sakai. えーまあ、まずはあの坂井宏樹が退場になりましたのであのスタメンを変更せざるを得ませんでした。And also some correction そして第一戦に比較してあの少し違った戦い方をしたいと思いますのであの攻撃でも守備でもあの修正を行ってきましたただこの第二戦は今シーズン強さを誇るホームでの戦いです決勝への切符勝ち取るためにどんな思いで戦いますか Yeah, this is game uh, B or not to be in the final, so, so I, I expected a fantastic fighting, uh, playing for the uh, action by action, because both teams want very hard to, to, to play in the final, so I hope this, our, our stadium will be uh, our, our, our advantage. えー、そうですねあの決勝に勝ち進むか敗退するかという試合ですのであの、まあ、両チームの素晴らしい試合を、えー、期待しています、えー、両チームともあのワンプレーワンプレーにあの気持ちを込めて、えー、戦うと思いますし、えー、このホームサージアムが我々にとってアドバンテージになることを期待していますありがとうございました1対0のアドバンテージを持って迎える今日のアウェーの戦いですけれども今日の試合ポイントどんなところになるんでしょうか自分たちはこの間の一勝がどうこうではなく今日はまた新たな試合ということで。自分たちは考えていますしっかりとしたアプローチのもとしっかりとした結果を求めて自分たちはここに来たのでしっかり準備してきましたマリノスにとっては5年ぶりのファイナル進出に向けて今日の試合意気込みをお願いします。Um, yeah, we, we only played them four days ago, so uh, we understand the, the challenges that the game does bring. Uh, I think, uh, again, our, our focus uh, will remain constant, will remain as it ha always has been. We will focus on, on ourselves. Uh, we look forward to yeah, an exciting encounter. まあ、もう4日前に、ね、あのこの試合をまあ同じチームとやりましたし、まあ、あの次の、えー、今日がどうこうではなくとにかく今日の試合に向けて自分たちを準備しそして自分たちのサッカーという部分をしっかり表現してやりたいなと思ってここに来ましたのでしっかりやっていきたいなと思っています。ありがとうございました Urawa Red Diamonds and Yokohama F Marinos are getting ready to make their way out into an incredible atmosphere at Saitima Stadium as we are getting set for the second leg of the semifinals of the J League YBC Levain Cup. And it's the visitors, Yokohama, who have the 1 0 lead from the first leg. And just listen to the reception these teams are going to get as they make their way out onto the pitch.
An incredible atmosphere worthy of a semi-final. The Tuarara Red Diamonds, the reigning AFC Champions League holders taking on Yokohama F. Marinos, the reigning J League champions. It's a matchup of the best offense in the J League in Yokohama F. Marinos versus the best defense in the J League in the home side, Urawa Red Diamonds. We take a look at their starting 11. No Hiroki Sakai, the captain, was red carded in stoppage time of the first leg. Takahiro Sakane takes his place. Yasui is preferred to Shibatu in midfield. And Hayakawa starts after coming off in 18 minute of the first leg. Jose Kante leads the line up top. It's a meeting of the captains. Yokohama F. Marinos trying to overturn this 1-0 deficit and not fall at the semifinal stage for the second straight year. It's a good look at your referees for this afternoon, led by Ryo Tanimoto. And those inside the VAR room who may play a crucial part in this one. For the visitors from Yokohama, three changes made to the side that prevailed in the first leg. Kida and Nishimura are drafted into the three-man midfield. Well, Mitsunuma is preferred to Mateus up top. Anderson Lopez, the goal-scoring hero from the first leg, is second in the J-League in scoring with 19 goals. He has 24 in all competitions. A very potent three-man front line for Yokohama F. Marinos. Exchange of the handshake between the two head coaches, Machi Scorza of Urawa and Kevin Muscat of Yokohama. High fives all around as we get set for a crucial 90 minutes to see who will head on to the J League YBC Levain Cup final, where they will most likely take on a Vispa Fukuoka who have a 2 0 lead at the moment in the 90th eight or 90th plus eight minutes of stoppage time so the result all but confirmed there the second semi-final gets underway it's Yokohama who begin Nagato. This will come all the way through for Nishikawa. The 37 year old who has well over 300 appearances for Urawa. Tsukene making the run forward. Forces the throw into touch. Kante dispossessed. Oh, and Elber's lost out. Kante, top of the box. Plays it across. Koizumi. Ukiwara. He commits the foul. It'll be a free kick. Ogiwara was so unfortunate to concede the handball that led to the penalty kick in the first leg. Which Anderson Lopez converted, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. This is Anderson Lopez. And the result is confirmed. Avispa Fukuoka with a 1-0 win have beaten Nagoya Grampus 2-0 on aggregate. And so it is Avispa Fukuoka who the winner of this match on aggregate will meet in the final. Long ball for Albert. Sakine deputizing in place of the suspended Hiroki Sakai. Awurawa Cope without their captain this evening. 
Jones said it's the best offense versus the best defense in terms of league play. Yokohama have a stunning 52 goals in 29 games played in the league. And they have a chance here. And Mitsunuma just missed it. Nishikawa did just enough to put him off. Mitsunuma was the scorer of their 1-0 win in their latest Champions League match against Taishan Shangdong. Shandong Taishan, I should say. So take a look at the chance here. Lovely ball was played into the channel. And then Nishikawa able to push it to safety with Mitsunuma, or Mitsunuma rather, on the doorstep. Sakine's header back. Side flag is up. Sakene can play anywhere along the right hand side. This time deputizing it right back. Have seen him play higher up the pitch this season. Schultz. Shielded off. So 52 goals in 29 league games for Yokohama F Marinos, who sit in second place in the J League, four points behind leaders Vissel Kobe. Four points behind them, Uzurawa Red Diamonds in third place in the J League. They have given up just 22 goals in 29 games played in the league. However, gave up the crucial goal in the first leg and have to overturn the 1-0 deficit. Sakene gets it back. Schultz finds his goalkeeper. Nishikawa calling for calm. Look at that for a piece of distribution to Sakene. it over the far side for Ogiwara who loves to get forward. Lex to cut it into his left boot. Iwao gets it out wide. Ogiwara measures up the cross. Drives it across and it almost worked out. Koizuma and Ogiwara so good on that left hand side for Urawa. Yasui gets it back. They've had the majority of the possession. As Koizuma plays it forward. It's too far ahead of the run of Yasui. Ichimori teasing him before picking it up and rolling it off. And it's Yokohama to come forward in the seventh minute. Nuda. Lovely ball sprayed to the far side. But just unable to keep it in. It was Ken Matsubara. Ogiwara's throwing. Kante. And the Ghanaian International was bought down. Referee playing advantage. Sakine. Out wide for Takahashi. 
working on Nagato. Back for Sakine. Eludes one. Eludes two. Sakine's shot is blocked. Good defending, though, from Yasui to keep the ball in the offensive half for Ruawa. Hoy Broughton. Iwao will be whistled for the foul. He did bring down Yamane there. Yamane just 20 years old, making his first team debut last year after coming up through the Yokohama F. Marinos youth system. Sonuda. Albert, 31 year old Brazilian dancing. Leaves it off at the top of the box. Zurawa to go the other way in the ninth minute. Mane. Lifted to the far side for Elber. And the offside flag was up against the Brazilian. Year-old who joined in 2021 from Bahia, also played for Brazilian Giants Cruzeiro, and you could see left the starting gates just a split second too soon. But what a ball that was to him, though. Thwarted by the referee's assistant, offside flag. Sakine. It'll be a throw in for Nagato and company. She scores up, likes the idea. Kevin Muscat seems like he wants a little bit more intensity from his Yokohama players. Nagato. Tsunoda. Matsubara plays it forward. Ichimori coming all the way off his line to read that play. The offside flag was up. So instead of a throw in for Awa, it'll be a free kick that's quickly taken by Yokohama. It's the tricolor looking to come forward. Just over 10 minutes played from Saitama Stadium. 0 0 on the evening, 1 0 on aggregate in favor of the visitors from Yokohama. Ichimori steps on it, leaves it off for Tsunoda. Coming back to get it, it was Yamane. Goda leads Albert, looking for the first time cross. Defense was well positioned. Yamane. the way Ichimori comes so far out of his box. He's not only playing as that sweeper keeper, but almost playing like an outfield player as well, providing that extra option for the defense to play out of the back. Well, he might have some work to do here. Well, that's good shielding. Takahashi measured the cross. Yokohama struggling to clear their lines. Now they're able to get out. Elbert clips it forward. Neatly bought down. A clean challenge, says the referee. Koizuma gets it out wide. Elbert. Well, that's a mazy dribble from Elbert. This time he's bought down in the center circle. The 
referee says play on. Can hear the displeasure of the Yokohama fans. As the space is opened up for Takahashi. Kante wants it square. Takahashi holds it up as more blue jerseys get behind the ball. Sakine joins the party, but will play it back. Schultz gets in front of one, goes walkabouts. Off for Takahashi, flag stays down. He tried to thread it inside, but it was well read by Nagato. And it's Albert to bring it forward once again. Matsubara getting forward from his right back position. Yamane. Burn for Arawa. Masui. Koizuma. Sakine. Still going Sakine. And he'll use the safety valve in his keeper. This is Hoybraten. Schultz. Far side for Ogiwari. Ms. Koizumi making a run ahead of him. Plays it into the middle for Kante, trying to hold it up. He leaves it off, and the tie is level. But she scores, applauds the effort. It's the youngster, Junpai Hayakawa, with the finish. 1-0 on the evening in favor of the home side. 1-1 on aggregate. The long switch for Ogiwara. Into the feet of Kante. Great hold up play. Is he offside, though? Nevertheless, tremendous finish from the 17-year-old Hayakawa. What an assist that was. And Hayakawa passing it into the net. Delight from Achi Scorja. His side are back on level terms. Checking for the possible offside on Hayakawa. So will this goal be erased? What a pass that was from Conte. Falling down, somehow contorted his foot to leave it off for Hayakawa. Take a look again. As the ball played into him from Ogiwara. Was that right boot of Hayakawa offside? It's going to be close. Referee Ryo Tanimoto waiting to hear from the VAR officials. Sakai looking on. A pensive Muscat. They'll take their time to get this right.
take a look again. Oh, he looks to be maybe just a step offside, or does the other defender just behind the action keep him on? Tense moments. Furawa and Yokohama. Will the tie go level? Or will Yokohama maintain the 1-0 lead from the first leg? Tanimoto conferring with his VAR officials. Side frustration, Furawa. The youngster thought he had scored just to step offside. There's the line. Millimeters, millimeters. So Furawa thwarted by the VAR technology. One nothing in favor of Yokohama F. Marinos on aggregate. 0-0 zero, zero on the evening as we head into the 20th minute of play. Koitsumi, Kante. Kante will go at it alone. Pushed to safety by Ichimori. Ogiwara back into the middle and cut out before Yusui could get on the end of it. The high press though paying off Rawa as they win it back via the throw in. Koitsumi so often the conductor in midfield. Leaves it off. Don't think Hayakawa was expecting the clever dummy from Koizumi. And it's Anderson Lopez to go the other way. And he's crowded out. Yokohama needs to get the ball into the feet of their talisman. He needs to see more of it to help ignite this attack. As they've been on the defense for most of this first half. Now here's a chance for him to attack. And again, the referee weaves play on. Takahashi. Sakene. Almost put Schultz in an awkward position. He's able to dribble his way out of it. And this is Kante. Clip over the top, looking for the run of Koizumi. And he's held off by Matsubara, who is then clattered into. Card is out. It was Ogiwari who took the brunt of the challenge. And it's going to be insult to injury for him as he becomes the first player to go into the referee's book this evening. Smile between Ogiwari and Matsubara. It was just catching the outstretched boot of Matsubara. I don't think there was any intent in it. Ichimori.
Iwari dispossessed. It's off of him last. Into Numa. Helped along Nagato. Off the underside of the crossbar. And Lopez has had her right into the breadbasket of Nishikawa. Yasui, Iwao, Yasui. How Urawa escaped. Nagato smashing it off the underside of the crossbar. It did not bounce over the line. Close calls at both ends now. Hayakawa had the ball in the Yokohama net, but he was just millimeters offside. And then Nagato with a shot crashing off the underside of the crossbar, but did not cross the line. And somehow we're still at 0-0 in the 24th minute. coming in from Urawa, calmly dealt with by Ichimori. Nagato has Elber shaping out wide. it out wide for Ogiwari. There's Koizumi ahead of him. Koizumi with space to run. Has Kante in the middle. Has Hayakawa in the middle. And good goalkeeping again off his line from Ichimori. it on. Intercepted by Schultz. Forward for Yasui. Was unable to turn. Elber. Tsubara. Yamane. Poked away by Schultz. And Sakane gets it back to his keeper. He's looking for Kante, who's able to hold it up and keep possession for Urawa. Now Schultz has gotten forward again. Koizumi. Ogiwara on the overlap. Stands it up toward the back stick. He's clear to the elbow. Can't escape the double team as Urawa win it back. Yasui. Wow. Out wide for Ogiwari. Schultz loves venturing forward. Tried to thread it through for Hayakawa. Anderson Lopez unable to bring it down, but there's a foul behind the play on Schultz. As he brought down Tsunoda, Tsunoda rather. the late challenge from one center back on another from Sonoda. Sonoda. Here's a look at that shot. Oh, 
Oh, and that was close. Remember, the whole ball has to be over the line. Both teams just a fraction away from scoring in this one. It's still 0-0 zero, zero as Elber looks to create. Flipped in. Schultz. Tremendous header from Conte. Kayakawa dispossessed. Another foul. Another late challenge. Oh, it's just a clash of heads. The referee rightly stopping play right away. Conte, his hold up play and distribution has been really good. It's Koizumi. Lifted up for Conte and he tried to pick out the far corner. And it was a good save from Ichimori. Not only because he was able to get down and make the save, but look at how he pushes it to the side so as not to give up a juicy rebound. Here's the shot from Nagato again as he cannons it off the crossbar. Nishikawa was beaten comprehensively and Lopez's header was right at the keeper. Nagato started as a forward in elementary school and then in junior high, one of his coaches said, you should play as a left back. And so he moved to left back and has been playing there ever since. You could see the striker in him though, as he hit that perfectly with plenty of venom, thwarted by the crossbar. And it's good to see that Takumi Kamijima is okay. go through a concussion protocol test for deciding whether or not he's able to continue. You can see him letting the training staff know that he's okay. You can see that big bump right underneath his eye as well. Conte was talking to the referee and he had pointed to his shoulder saying that that's where he believes that Kamijima's had it clashed into, and there it is right there. It does get his shoulder, so certainly painful, but glad it wasn't a clash of heads. You might have seen both of the players down. You can see the swelling under the eye with Takumi Kamijima. Kama, head coach Kevin Muscat asking Kamijima, if he's okay to continue. Play back underway in the 32nd minute. Sonoda. for Elber. Intercepted by Iwao. Sakine. Iwao. Avoids Hoy Bratton to get forward. Ogiwara. That's Koizumi in the channel. Koizumi lays it back for Kante. Kante turns and shoots. skill. Koizumi skips by one. 
Gets it inside. Koizumi to play it across. And nobody crashing at the back stick. Elbert. Play by Nagato. Schultz. Sakine. Nakahashi. Forward for Yasui. It's off of Yasui last. Good defending from Ryotaro Tsunoda. Takahashi. Anderson Lopez hasn't seen much of the ball as Urawa have done a good job of starving him of service tonight. Look how quickly Hoy Bratton was on him. Lopez, 24 goals in all competitions. That includes two in the Levain Cup. Schultz was unable to keep it in. Every touch from Elber. Allows Urawa to clear their lines. Sunoda gets it back to his keeper. Schultz. Dane gets it across to his Scandinavian center back partner. Norwegian High Breton. Boy Breton joined this year after winning two titles with Bodo Gilm in his native Norway. Schultz. Takahashi. Well defended. Gatto's throwing inside the final 10 minutes of the opening 45. There'll be plenty of stoppage time as well added on at the end of that. So you had the bar check that ended up being offside on Hayakawa's goal to wipe that off. Then you also had the injury as well to Kamijima as he was down on the ground for a little bit. It's good to see, though, that he is back onto the pitch. The ball is rolled to Kamijima. Is that for Kita? offer that option to make it 11 v 10 in terms of playing in the outfield from Ichimori. Boy Bratton whistled for the foul. So the searching ball was looking for Elber. Sakine heads it back to his keeper. Shikawa, Boy Bratton. Shikawa, Schultz, another beauty of a piece of distribution. 
execution from Nishikawa. Placed on a dime onto the boot of Takahashi. Urawa work it to the other side. And now we'll come back around. Nishikawa. Another probing ball. This time, Yokohama able to deal with it. Elber over to the far side. Mitsunuma plays it in. Good save from Nishikawa. Mitsunuma with an excellent ball back. Struck well by Nishimura. Frustrated to see Nishikawa get a big paw on it to push it over his crossbar, but it's the first corner kick of the game for either side. And it goes the way of the visitors. Takahashi, the Yokohama defense was wise. Kita gets it out wide. Takuya Kita, who made his debut with Yokohama back in 2012, well over 250 appearances for Marinos. And here he is pulling the strings again in midfield. This time, no one was making the run out wide. Inside the final five minutes of the opening 45. Have to think at least four minutes, possibly more, will be added on after the initial 45. Schultz, Nishikawa, Blair Bratton. Fizzed it in to Sakene, who did well. He's trying to play it through. Hayakawa wasn't making the run. It would have asked a lot of him, nevertheless. Tsunoda, Nagato. Keeper. Tamijima. Shimori. Tsunoda. Well, they're inviting the press, and here it comes from Ruara. Well, they play out of it quite well, Yokohama. Good win from Koizumi. Now it's Urawa. Look to get forward. Boy Bratton. Kiwara. Ball looking for the run of Hayakawa. The 
offside flag was up. Yeah, defending from Sunoda rather than less. Or perhaps it was the handball that was called. stretches to win it back, Furawa. And they're tracking back from Koizumi. Long ball looking for Kante though, as just in the last few minutes, Urawa tried to force the issue with the long balls, looking for their forwards and forcing some of those passes as well. Done to release Kita. Far side Elber. Sakine gets back to his keeper. Nishikawa clears. There's that hold up play from Kante. Tried to do a bit too much though. Koizumi trying to put Ichimori under pressure. by Schultz, and the counter could be on Furawa. Koizumi just couldn't bring it under control. But it will be an attacking throw in Furawa as they try and pinch a goal before halftime. Takahashi. Iwao. Sakine. Takahashi has time to pick out a cross. Doesn't beat the defender stationed at the edge of the six. Lopez with a rare touch. It's slid away by Schultz. Let's take a look at the counter here. Koizumi asking for it. And that ball played a teeny bit behind him. Have to feel that if he was led, he would have been in. Fourth official getting ready to prepare the board. There will be six minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first half. 15 seconds of which have already elapsed. Tsunoda, not in any hurry. Kamijima. Elbert looking to run. Takes the inside route. Anderson Lopez crowded out again. Awkward ball for Nishikawa. Kante. Junpai Hayakawa. Koizumi has popped up on the near side. Waits for the overlap from Sakine. Koizumi again. Spray to the far side for Ogiwara. Wow. Sakine. Plenty of time in first half stoppage time. Koizumi. Slipped inside. But the pass a bit too heavy. So searching for the run of Iwao. making his 38th appearance in all competitions. Oh, a bad pass out of the back, picked off by Koizumi. Gets it into the middle. This is Koizumi. Koizumi! Be a corner kick for Rawa. who started it with the interception. Almost finish it as it was played back to him from Takahashi and you could see he was trying to disguise his shot to the near post. And it hit off of a Yokohama defender. And 
frustration for Koizumi, but it will be a corner kick. Schultz is up from the back, corner taken short, Sakine. Koizumi, Sakine continued his run. He'll loop it across, headed back in the danger area. He'll bounce all the way through, hooked clear. Three minutes have elapsed in stoppage time. Three minutes, the minimum, six to go. Urawa looking for the goal to give them the lead on the night and get them level on aggregate. Two players to pick out in the box. Schultz over the top for Conte. Flag stays down. That was good defending from Rayotaro Sunoda, but it will be at the expense of a corner kick. Just Conte applauds the ball over the top. Zumi short if he wants to use them. Chloe Bratton is up from the back. Okiwara was looking for the return ball. Final minute, the minimum six, and Conte almost got on the end of that. And a free kick will relieve some of the pressure on Yokohama. So it was Nishimura who was bought down. their time perhaps for one last attack from the visitors before the referee blows his whistle for the interval. Zero, 0 on the evening at halftime. one nothing. Yokohama lead on aggregate. Anderson Lopez has been starved of service. Yokohama came close. Nagato smashing the ball beyond Nishikawa, but it came off the underside of the crossbar and did not cross the line. Chloe Bratton and co. were lucky to see that ball come back. So frustration for Rawa, who had the ball in the net through Jupai Hayakawa, but a VAR check confirmed that it was in fact offside and so at the break it is Urawa Red Diamonds nil Yokohama F Marinos nil we'll be back with you for the second half
getting ready for the second half of the semifinal second leg in the J-League YBC Levain Cup. Nil-nil on the evening. one nothing on aggregate in favor of Yokohama. As Urara get us back underway. One change to tell you about at halftime as Yuki Soneto comes in to replace Takumi Kamijima in the center of defense for Yokohama. You'd have to think that that change being made because of the clash with Jose Conte in which Kamijima's head hit the shoulder of Conte causing that swelling under his eye. No changes for Urawa at halftime. Soy Bratton is looking for the run of Ogiwara. He'll cover every blade of grass up and down the wing, Ogiwara. for just their second ever J League Cup Championship. Their only title coming all the way back in 2001. We're runners up in 2018. So looking to get back to the final for the first time in five years. And they'll have to do some defending here. A bit desperate as well. No need to make that clearance with no pressure on and it's going to result in a corner kick for the home side. It's Koizumi who's over it. Has a short option as well with the captain Iwao. So it would be Iwao on his right or Koizumi on his left unless we see a short routine from the training ground. It's Iwao's service. It's Conte is in the middle, gets his head on it. And it'll be another corner kick, take two, Furawa. Conte very good in the first half, especially with his hold up play. Tiwalo again, headed away by Sonato. First appearance in all competitions, the 32-year-old on loan from Gambo Osaka. She scores up. Looking to see if his side can take the lead on the evening and find the equalizer on aggregate. But again, Yokohama come away with it. A slip allows Koizumi to win it back. Koizumi twisting, turning, clipping it into the box just beyond the run of Hayakawa and relief for Ichimori. out of the back. This is a fine flowing move from Yokohama.
Saneto. Matsubara. Lopez, the guilty party. Ugiwara. Ball searching for Kante. Koizumi. down rather easily. Koizumi, the referee agrees. Yokohama looking to go the other way. This is one all the way back for Nishikawa. Ogiwara. So unlucky to see the ball jump up and bite him in the box in the first leg, which led to the 46th minute penalty, or the 61st minute penalty, rather, that was put home by Anderson Lopez. As Koizumi plays it through. Back for Conte. Jose Conte shot his charge down. Iwara. Iwao. We'll flip it over for Schultz. Schultz loves to come forward into the channel looking for Koizumi. It's a great ball played in from Koizumi. Laid back for Conte. And a good block from Sonetto. Instant contribution from the man who came on for the injured Kamijima. Sumitsunuma impeded there. asking for a yellow card. I don't think he's going to get it. You can see Ogiwara saying either you're going to get past me or the ball, but not both. That's what Muscat thinks about it. Felt that there should have been a yellow card to stop what could have been a numbers advantage. a bit more movement up top. Lopez was coming in. Looked like offside, so free kick wasted. This will be the last J-League Cup with a group stage. As next year, it's going to go to a straight knockout competitions with all teams from J-League 1 through J-League 3. Space could be on for Okiwara. Just that split second where he had to come back to get the ball allows Yokohama to get more players behind it and get organized. So Rao will have to recycle their runs in the 55th minute. Koizumi in the channel. Skips past one, trying to work his way into the box. It's going to be a corner kick. Fifth of the game for the home side.
Koizumi, so good on the dribble. And you can see right before it went over the end line, he played it off of Sunoda to win the corner. Iwao with his third corner kick from this near side in the second half. Easily taken by Jun Ichimori. The referee not impressed with Anderson Lopez hitting the ball away. As you can see right here, punching it away after the ball boy had thrown it. And a yellow card for Anderson Lopez and a petulant one at that. to ground. As was Kida. Conte inflicting the pain on both of the center midfielders. They're playing just ahead, or just behind Nishimura, rather, in that double pivot. Quickly over the top, and it's a two-on-one if they can hurry. Space has opened up. It's good defending from Urawa, who get it clear. Kante. He's done so well to come back, get the ball, and bring other Arawa players into the attack. He's had to come back pretty far this time around. Wins the free kick, quickly takes it. Koizumi waits for the overlap. And he'll flight it toward the back post. It's well defended by Matsubara. to the punch. He's been kept quiet tonight, Anderson Lopez. So far, his goal in the 61st minute of the first leg, the difference. That one came just after the hour mark from the penalty spot as we're approaching the hour mark in leg two. And that goal still holding up. Loki Water takes off. And Sineto has been good since coming on in place of Kamijima. So he had the angle on Ogiwara there. Iwao. Bratton. Schultz likes to take the space when invited to come forward. Alexander Schultz finds Takahashi on the wing. Another corner kick for the home side. The services have been good, except for the last one, which was easy pickings for the keeper.
Kenny Wallow's corner. Throwing quickly taken. Koizumi. He'll play it into the danger area. Headed away. Okiwara. Koizumi inside for Ogiwara. Ogiwara punched away. And then a penalty. Junpai Hayakawa bought down in the box. And the man who thought he had scored in the first half may have won the penalty that could eat to the equalizer here in the second. This is a lovely reverse ball inside for Ogiwara. The cross was punched away, but only as far as Hayakawa, and he was bought down right on the penalty spot. Gato, the man at fault. And praise for Hayakawa. Nagato couldn't believe it, didn't feel that there was too much in the challenge. Looks like it could be the captain, Iwao. Schultz. It's going to be the center back, Alexander Schultz, who has scored some penalties this season. Togato still can't believe that he was called for the foul. be the Dane, Alexander Schultz, taking on Junichi Mori. Schultz, a picture of concentration. with the short run-up, sends the keeper the wrong way. Urawa have the lead on the evening, and they're level on aggregate. Well, he's keeping his poker face, Machi Scorcia, but he has to be happy. Urawa, Red Diamond's endeavor finally paying off as they level from 12 yards out. Short run-up from Schultz, no problem. Opens his hips at the very last minute, and Ichimori guessed the wrong way. Nakaya got in front of Nagato as he was quickest to the rebound, given up as Ichimori parried the ball right back into the danger area. And it's game on here in the semifinal second leg. 1-0 on the evening in favor of the home side. 1-1 on aggregate as the teams over these last two games trading penalties just after the hour mark. response be from Yokohama the most potent offense in league play with 52 goals in 29 games but they haven't looked all that threatening tonight other than Nagato's shot that cannon off the underside of the crossbar Yamane Mitsunuma leaves it off Nishimura 
Newton is possessed by sliding Schultz. The chance comes in, flash just wide. Anderson Lopez, the first time he's been able to get free in this game. Just look at the way he got in between those two defenders. Great ball fizzed into him from Nagato and the outside of the boot, what a goal that would have been. Great entry ball from Nagato. Kita claiming it took a touch on the way through. I think the referee got this one right. Okiwara, so good coming forward. So dangerous coming forward. Works his way into the box, but the ball across too close to Ichimori. a free kick in a very dangerous position. This is Takahashi who won it. Koizumi's pressure paying off as he forced the interception. And then Takahashi bought down by Sineto. I'm sure there are plenty of Urawa Red Diamond players who are chomping at the bit to hit this one. As it looks like Urawa are getting ready to flick the switch on a double substitution. Chimori who was beaten from the spot just a few minutes ago, now having to deal with a free kick from about 25 yards out. Schultz and Hayakawa all in conversation now. Schultz leaves the scene. Tayakawa into the wall. U21 International winning the corner kick. Although he'll probably want that free kick back. Seventh corner of the game now. Fifth of the half for Rawa. Iwao in his normal position over the dead ball in the corner. Another dangerous ball in. It's prayed back across. But you want us effort. Just flashing wide of the post. Correction, Koizumi. This is a dangerous ball played back across from Yasui, but there were no takers. And then Koizumi. to find the corner. It's another change is off is Kota Mitsunuma. And he'll be replaced by Jan Mateus, the 25-year-old Brazilian who joined last year after stints in Portugal and Brazil. Mateus, a starter in the first leg, 
coming on here midway through the second half in leg number two. Scooping header clear. Whoa! Pushed aside by Ichimori. Wow, onto it in a flash. It was struck with plenty of vigor. And this time, making sure not to give up any rebound was Ichimori. Iwao's corner. Ogiwara. Hayakawa. Ogiwara continued his run. Here comes the double change for the home side. As Hayakawa will come off, as will Koizumi. Entering into the match is Shinzo Kuroki and Tomokai Okubo. So prized to see Koizumi come out. He's always so dangerous on the dribble. It combines so well with Ogiwara. of the challenge. There was Komizumi with the interception off Rogiwari. And that's what led to the penalty. Gato will tell you he didn't think it was a foul. It's a good look at Okubo. for a goal kick. Joel's the difference maker so far. His penalty has the home side up 1-0 on the evening and level on aggregate. Teams have traded penalties in this tie. Sinato has to slide it away again. Boy Bratton. Schultz. Space is opened up on the far side. He'll swing it in. Conte. Guinea International. Leave it off. This is Karuki. Final 
15 minutes in the second half. Will the tie be settled in regulation or will we need extra time? Just trying to dribble out. We'll discuss the fact that Urawa playing without their captain, Kuroki Sakai, who was sent off for two yellows in the first leg. They're also missing Atsuki Ito, who just like in the quarterfinals, is away with national team. Japan winning four to one against Canada on Thursday and will play against Tunisia on Tuesday. Tsuki Ito scoring in the last international window, which came during the quarterfinals against Cerezo Argambo Osaka. Pops it over the top. Kuroki did not get there in time. Takahashi. Oh, lovely ball played in. Back across. And Matsubara makes the clearance albeit at the expense of a corner kick, but just look at this combination play. Beautifully slid in on the give and go. Almost an own goal for Matsubara. Almost an immediate impact from Okobo. Ninth corner kick of the game now for Iwao and the Reds. back. Still going Ogiwara. Is it back to the top of the box? Wao leaves it off. Kine to play it across. Or Okubo rather. That's another corner kick. Let's take a look at this last chance. We'll come back to it as they try to take the corner quickly. Substitute Mateus, who needs some attention. Now we'll get back to it. Sakine let it go, and Hoy Bratton made good contact, but getting down well to make the save was Ichimori. And that's where Mateus took his knock. Brazilian looks to be okay. The 80th minute. One nothing, Uara lead on the evening. Oh, and there you see that elbow catching Mateus. At her just wide. Conte so frustrated. Another corner for you, Wao.
Usui, over to the far side, neatly bought down. It's been raining corners in the second half. Ken Urarwa turned one of these into goals. This was the last opportunity for Conte. Usui, Schultz, Ogiwara. He looks to measure across. It's a good ball from Ogiwara. Off the crossbar, off the head of Conte. And now the break could be on here. Neatly cut out. Ogiwara to bring it forward again for Urawa. Trying to smuggle it through. Ogiwara pass had not enough weight on it. Ogiwara will be whistled for the foul. And a yellow card. was actually given to Conte. And a double change for Yokohama F. Marinos. Sayunaka, one of the two players to come on. Yokohama, one of their rare forays forward in the second half. kick. It's the foul committed by Hoybrat. Mateus and Matsubara in conversation. It's going to be Mateus who takes the free kick. And some instructions from the bench. Tsubara joins those at the top of the box alongside the substitute, Yuenaka. Eighty-fifth minute. That's a good free kick, but it bypasses everyone. It will bounce out for a Urawa Red Diamonds goal kick. Conte once again helping out with the defending. As you take a look at the last opportunity, Conte with a commanding header. Michimori was comprehensively beaten, but the crossbar coming to his rescue. The final five minutes 
the 90. Lovely ball inside, played across but over hit. Matsubara had some time, don't think he realized it. And another change is off, will come Takuya Kita. And he will be replaced by Kota Watanabe. coming on for his seventh appearance in the cup and his 39th overall. It's Muscat with a hug for Takuya Kita. Watanabe, the latest player to join the fray. As Ryu Miyachi was the other player who came on alongside Ashi Yuneka that last double change for Yokohama F. Marinos. Wao gets it out wide. Wao wants it back. This is Kenny Wao. Over for Takahashi. Gets it inside for Okiwara. Okiwara asking for a penalty. Play it back across. Will VAR be checking that? Now Mateus with a step on Schultz. Schultz able to get back, Mateus cuts inside. And now the referee is gonna stop play. Are we gonna look at VAR? Iwao saying it could have been a handball. Let's take a look here. As Okiwara went for the cross and the hand was out and it did hit it. How unlucky would that be for the substitute Yuki Sineto? Looks clear to me. I'm not the one to make the decision. It's Ogiwara causing problems getting forward once again. The referee's gonna come over and look at it. So Rayo Tanimoto with a big decision to make. clear that the hand was in an unnatural position. It's not in against the body. It's unfortunate, certainly no intent as he's sliding in to try and block the cross. On the stroke of full time, Urara Red Diamonds have a penalty. Into the 90th minute, and a chance for Urawa to win it at the death. Schultz went to his right the first time around. Sending Ichimori the wrong way. What will he do here? Schultz to put 
Urawa into the final where Vespa Fukuoka await. short run up for Alexander Scholes. Scholes calls game. Off the post and in. Urawa could very well be on their way to the final with a chance to win their third J League Cup. Ichimura guessed right, but it was perfectly placed by Alexander Scholes kissing it off the inside of the post. The reverse ball from Takahashi in for Ogiwara. The handball from Yuki Soneto. Uraro with Red Diamonds from 1 0 down to 2 1 up on aggregate, 2 0 on the evening. Frustration for Muscat and Co. Two penalties conceded in the second half, and now the question is how much stoppage time will there be? Yokohama now must score against the J League's best defense. It's a yellow card issued to Inaka. Seven minutes of stoppage time. challenge on Ogiwara from the substitute. The Muscat just staring down the referee. Two goals for that man, both from 12 yards out. Perfect from the spot this evening, Alexander Schultz. Michimori guessed right the second time around. And the captain, Hiroki Sakai, knowing that he may get a chance to play in the final after missing this second leg through suspension. in the 63rd minute and the 90th plus one for the center back Alexander Schultz. Matsubara to take the throw in. The fourth minute of the minimum seven of stoppage time. Unable to wriggle free. Yokohama. Able to get to the byline, played across, and headed away by Schultz. It's good work from the substitute. Ryo Miyachi, the former Arsenal man. Joined in 2021 from St. Pauli. After stints not only with Arsenal, but the likes of Fire Nord. Ishikawa smartly puts it on the ground to allow more seconds to run off the clock before booming it downfield. As anywhere will do now. Late substitution is awful. Come Takahashi. He'll be replaced 
by Kai Shibatu. Shibato, who made his pro debut with the club in 2018, comes off to try and close this one out. Schultz again getting the job done on both ends. Mateus looking to manufacture some space. Conte, his hold up play has been so good tonight. Conte uh, trying to dribble his way out of trouble and it gives the ball back to Yokohama. Space has opened up. A tremendous effort and an even better save from Nishikawa. Urawa remain in front thanks to their elastic keeper. Ichimori all the way up from his goalkeeper position. Corner played in and headed away. Final 20 seconds, the minimum seven minutes of stoppage time. Mateus looking to get a cross off. Conte hooks it clear. Ichimori heads it back. So throw it back to Ichimori. He has to launch it forward. Instead, we'll get it out wide. Play at the minimum seven minutes. Is there perhaps one last chance for Yokohama? Mateus. He'll hook it in. Oh, the keepers come out and missed it. And the open net opportunity squandered. Mateus' cross. Nishikawa came out, did just enough. And the substitute, Yunaka, just couldn't get his effort on frame. Let's take a look at that last save. And what a save it was from Nishikawa. The 37 year old, still limber at full stretch. The evergreen keeper with the save that could possibly put Urawa Red Diamonds into the final. There's now Nishikawa and another player down in the box. As it came on the collision on that header on the initial ball sent into the box from Mateus. Nishikawa got the ball, but he also got plenty of Ryotaro Tsunoda, who's up from his center back position. And she scores up. Wants no mistake now. Hirano warming up. Yokohama F. Marinos fans continue to sing, continue to hope that their side can find a last gasp aggregate equalizer. And even though Yuichi Hirano is getting ready, you have to feel that Nishikawa is going to try and stay in this game.
was the first penalty conceded by Nagato. Schultz went to his right. Sending Fuji, or uh, Ichimura the right the penalty. Ogiwara's cross was stopped by the hand of Sineto. And this time, Alexander Schultz went to the left. Iwara, Red Diamonds looking to close it out. J League Cup champions in 2003 and 2016 looking to add their third J League Cup trophy to their cabinet, which also includes the AFC Champions League from last season, which was their third continental title in the Champions League. As we really hope that the 24-year-olds Ryo Taro Tsunoda is okay as he is stretchered off. As he got the full force of the two fists of Nishikawa. So how much time will be added on to the end of stoppage time? Had her out of bounds. The Aurora Red Diamond players screaming for a referee to blow his whistle. Anywhere will do at the moment. So it's cleared downfield. Ichimori to send it forward. And that is it. Urawa Red Diamonds with two second half penalties overturn the 1-0 deficit from the first leg and they are through to the final of the Japanese J-League YBC Levain Cup where they will face Avispa Fukuoka on November 4th at the National Stadium in Tokyo. Unfortunate for Yokohama to concede two penalties in the second half as they bow out of the competition. And it's Uarua Red Diamonds who make their way onto the final. Now what a tie it was between the second and third place teams in the league. And it's Kenny Wawa wearing the captain's armband who leads his side through to the final. So an entertaining semi-final tie comes to an end. And it's Urawa Red Diamonds who win 2-0 on the evening, 2-1 on aggregate. What a match we've had in Saitama. So that will do it for me. I'm Mark Server saying so long from Saitama Stadium where it finishes Urawa Red Diamonds to Yokohama F Marinos nil. Urawa through to the final, two to one on aggregate where they will face Avispa Fukuoka on November 4th. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you may be across the world.
劇的な試合を見事制して決勝進出を決めました浦和レッズのアレクサンダー・ショルツ選手ですおめでとうございます決勝に向けては勝利が絶対条件だった今日の試合でしたけれどもどんな思いでまずピッチに立ったんでしょうか No, I think、uh, it was a fantastic game. The intensity was very high.、Uh, I think the, the fans enjoyed it a lot. I hope so because we gave everything. Fantastic match. I think the fans enjoyed it a lot. I hope so because we gave everything. So, the fans enjoyed it a lot. I hope so because we gave everything. So, the fans enjoyed it a lot. I hope so because we gave everything. Yeah, the, the first one, I, I had a lot of confidence. I was quite sure I would score. The second one was a situation I haven't tried before. So I went from my side. I, I knew the keeper would probably go to my side, so I needed to place it far out. Maybe I was a little bit lucky, but in the end it went in. The first one was a lot of confidence, but I had a lot of confidence. The second one was a lot of confidence, but I had a lot of confidence. The second one was a lot of confidence, but I had a lot of confidence. The second one was a lot of confidence, but I had a lot of confidence. The second one was a lot of confidence, but I had a lot of confidence. The second one was a lot of confidence. さあこのほぼ無敵のサイスタホームでのサポーターの後押しどのように感じていましたか本当にアメージング素晴らしい試合だと思いますピッチ上でも素晴らしい気分だったので本当に皆さんも楽しんでもらえたと思いますさあこれで2016年ぶりのファイナル進出です7年ぶりの優勝に向けて決勝の意気込みお願いしますただしその前にはリーグも ACL もあるので、まあ、あの決勝の前にいろんな大会が。あの重なるということは素晴らしいことだと思いますおめでとうございましたアレクサンダー・ショルツ選手でした
2戦合計2対1見事ホームで逆転の決勝進出を決めましたマッチェイスコルジャ監督ですおめでとうございます yeah, thank you very much. It's amazing game. So we are very happy. ありがとうございますあの素晴らしい試合であの今我々は幸せです、まあ、両チームともにチャンスを作りながらの激闘だったと思います今日の試合振り返っていただけますか Yeah, I think we play a really, really good game. I, I've got deepest respect for 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 my players. あの非常にいいゲームプレーしたと思います。あの浦和の選手たちに今日あの敬意を表したいと思います。Could keep this intensity during 90 minutes, so it's really amazing. 90分間あの非常に高い強度を保ってくれましたのであの素晴らしかったと思います。Our team spirit was on the highest level today, and thanks to our fantastic supporters, this. This this evening was really really great. あのチームスピリットが本日あの最高レベルだったと思いますけれど、それはあのサポーターの皆さんの後押しがあったことも一員となりました。監督は今のチームの DNA には絶対に諦めないものがあるそう試合前に話していたと思いますけれども、まさにそれが感じられた試合だったんではないでしょうか。Yeah, I think today they today this team proved. Proof again that that they can achieve any target if 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 they really want. あの自分たちが望めばどのような目標も達成できるということを本日も証明することができたと思います。さあ次はいよいよファイナルです。相手は福岡です。タイトル獲得に向けて意気込みをお願いします。Yes, yes, yes. But before the final, we've got a few. Other very important games, so we have to recover very quickly and think about now. We think about the our next opponent, Kashiwa Reysol. Yes, yes. 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 Yes.